Hello everyone, are you all ready? Because I am ready along with Tinkerbell and Fala to Secret Secret. So let's see what's the first tale in here. So the first one is Secret to Share. Let's begin with this one. Okay. A secret to share. It just stopped raining and... Oh, I love the scent of damp fields. Lucky you. All the dampness does for me is frizz my hair. Hmm. Forget about that, Ro. Look. What? Hmm, that poor flowers all splattered. Come on, we need to clean it up. Forget it, silver mist. I hate mud. It's so dirty. What? A garden fairy shouldn't say such things. Don't worry, I have an idea. What are you doing? Wait and see. Here you go, sweet thing. You will be fresh as a daisy in no time. I can't believe it. You were flutterific. It's my little secret. I can do my job and end up smelling like a... Yuck! <laughs> Oops, I didn't see you. <gasps> hmm, we realized that. Well, I would better be going. Maybe you should share your little secret with animal fairies too. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh. <laughs> the end. A silver lining. It's a rainy day on the mainland. Oh, Tinkerbell, how sad it's raining and we can't go outside to play. Maybe I can find a way to cheer you up, Lizzie. Would you care for another cup of tea, Miss Bell? Yes, thank you. It's so delicious. Lizzie's good mood doesn't last very long. It's still pouring. Why does it have to rain in summertime? If I distract her, maybe she'll stop thinking about the rain. And so they draw one of the Tinkerbell's adventures. Oh, how scary! That hawk almost caught you. If only the rain was as much fun as your adventures. Aha, uh -huh, I think I've got it. Tink tells Lizzie to wait for her while she goes off to get other fairies. Come back soon. Of course, I will. At the fairy camp. Where could Iridesa and Silver Mist be? There you are, Desa. I need your help. Sure, Tink. What's wrong? We need to make Lizzie smile again. Have you seen Silver Mist? She went with Fawn to teach the frogs to croak. Without silver mist, I'll have to find another way. Soon, Tink has an idea. At Lizzie's house, Tink finds what she needs for a new invention. This egg beater will do the trick. And this bow will be perfect. What are you doing? We need to put it high up. With Eridesa's help, 
Tinkerbell makes a mist sprayer. Are you sure it will work? Now let's fill the bowl with water. Let's find out. First we need water droplets and now I'll bring out a sunbeam. It works! Hooray! A rainbow! Thanks to Tinkerbell and Fairy Magic, even rain can be fun. The end. So, let's move on to the next one. Following a dream. It's a beautiful day in Neverland. Good morning everyone. I think you seem very happy today. Just before dawn, I had a wonderful dream. Then you are really lucky. Why? According to an Asian legend, the last dream a fairy has before waking up always come true. Oh, why wow, that's plethoric. What did you dream about? I, I don't remember anymore. What a shame. Then your dream won't come true. Don't worry, Ting. We'll help you remember it. After all, we are all your best friends, aren't we? Who knows, maybe her good dream was about the pond. You might have dreamed of drifting on a water lily. What do you think, Ting? Hmm, I don't think so. Jumping around on the clouds? Not that either. Tinkerbell didn't dream about freshly blossomed dew kiss flowers either. Or a happy chorus of chirping birds. Chip, 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 chip. We are so sorry, Ting. We have tried everything. Thanks anyway, you are such good friends. Hey, now I remember. I dreamed I spent a wonderful morning with you, my best friends. You were right, my wonderful dream really did come true. <laughs> the end. Okay, next is a dazzling daylight. Light fairies love all things shiny and Iridesa finds the sunlight shimmering on the ocean waves irresistible. The waves are sparkling like diamonds today. Where is this pretty reflection coming from? I have never seen anything like it. It's dreamy. Iridesa likes her new high base so much that she doesn't notice the time fly by. Meanwhile, in Pixie Hollow, someone is getting worried. I haven't seen Iridesa since this morning. She told me she was going to the beach but she hasn't come back yet. We better go and look for her. Soon on the beach. Look, I am sure a light fairy couldn't resist all those colors. You are right. Let's go down and see. Iridesa, where are you? Hi, girls. Come look at what I found. Ooh, it's splitterific. It's like being in a different world. It's so pretty that I never want to leave it. Let's take it with us. We can make it your new home. It wouldn't be the same in Pixie Hollow. There's no sea to make these wonderful reflections. Sugar Plum, maybe you have grown too attached to something that's broken. Broken? Let me see. 
Thanks, Rosetta. You have given me a great idea. Fawn, help me, please. Let's pull harder. Just give me a second. Let's hope that it works. It's even prettier than a sparkle away. Thanks, Tink. With this, my house will be a real dream home. The end. Next is water games. One hot day, Tinkerbell goes to the pond to cool down and visit Silver Mist. Hello, Silver Mist. What are you doing? Hi, Tink. I am skiing on the water with the help of my hummingbird friend. That sounds fun. May I try? Sure. Hop in. The trick is keeping your balance. But Vidya is watching them. You might as well give up, Tink. You are too clumsy. Well, we'll see about that, Vidya. I can do it. Here I go. Ooh. Where are the brakes? Look, look out. Whoa, what a ride. I want to do it again. <sighs> I don't think everyone wants you to. Just look what you have done. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get you wet. Yes, we just didn't do it on purpose. Besides, look on the bright side. Which would be? We were all trying to cool down, but you are the only one who managed to. The end. That's it for today. And I'll be back with another five more tales. Till then, stay safe. Let's Let's put a bookmark in here and I'll be back. Bye-bye.